Adding fractions using area models. We have learned how to add and subtract fractions using equivalent fractions and a number line. This one shows how 3 quarters is equivalent to 9 twelfths, and so when we add 2 more twelfths, we get 11 twelfths altogether. Now we will look at area models to show addition of fractions. The first model we will look at are arrays. Remember, an array is a neat rectangle of rows. Here we have an array of two rows of four. If we look at this picture, we can concentrate on these lines to show quarters. You can see one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and four quarters is the whole. We could also just concentrate on the line in the middle to show that two halves make the whole. We might also look at the individual squares to show that eight eighths make the whole. We can see lots of different fractions in the array, it just depends on how we look at it. Now, if we have these two parts shaded, we want to represent this as an addition of fraction parts. So if we look at the blue part with the quarter lines, we can see that the blue is covering three quarters of the whole. Next, to look at the red part, we can concentrate on our eighths and see that it is one eighth. So our sum is three quarters plus one eighth. To help us solve this, we can rewrite our three quarters as an equivalent fraction in eighths. So three quarters becomes six eighths. You can see we haven't changed the value of the fraction, just what size fraction piece it is referring to. Now it's easy to solve that there are seven eighths altogether. Let's try this one. We have an array of three rows of five. If we look at these lines, we can see five fifths to make the whole. If we look across this way, we can see three thirds makes the whole. Or if we look at the individual squares, we can see 15 fifteenths makes the whole. Now if we have these two parts shaded, we want to work out what fraction sum they are showing. If we look at our fifths, we can see that the aqua part is covering two fifths. Next, we want to add the yellow part. So if we look at our fifteenths, we can see that the yellow section is four fifteenths. Now to solve this problem, we need to rewrite the two fifths so that they are in fifteenths. We can see that the two fifths is the same as six fifteenths. So altogether, we can see that we have 10 fifteenths. Being able to see different fractions and then their equivalent fractions to help solve problems is important for understanding and working with fractions. Now let's look at addition of fractions with rectangle models. Here we have a rectangle with six equal parts. It is always important the parts are equal when looking at fractions. Now we have this much shaded we want to work out what fraction sum is represented. If we draw a line down the middle like this, we can see that the blue section is one half. Next, if we look at all the sections like this, we can see that the yellow part is adding one sixth. To help us solve the problem, it is easier if they have the same denominator. So one half we can see is the same as three sixths. So 3 6 plus 1 6 is 4 6 altogether. Again, being able to see different fractions by concentrating on different parts of the shape is important for working flexibly with fractions. Let's look at another. Here we have a rectangle with 10 equal parts. Let's look at some fractions. If we concentrate on the middle line, we see two halves make the whole. If we look at every second line, it shows five fifths make the whole. Remember, they must be equal parts. And if we look at every line, we can see that 10 tenths makes the whole. Now if we have this part shaded and we want to work out what fraction sum it is representing and solve it, if we look at again at our fifths, we can see that the blue section is actually three fifths. Next, if we look at our tenths, we can see that the yellow part is one tenth. So we have three fifths plus one tenth. To help solve this, we can rewrite our fifths as tenths. 
So we can see that 3 fifths is the same as 6 tenths. Now it is easier to see that we have 6 tenths plus 1 tenth, which gives a total of 7 tenths. Being able to see different fractions, like 5 fifths, or 4 quarters, or 2 halves, and then working with them flexibly is important for developing a deep understanding of fractions.